Hello! In this tutorial we will use a speed light to complement a daylight scene. I have my son Lukasha here as a model and first we meter for the background using the normal or correct exposure metering. As you can see in this photo the ISO is reduced to 100 and that will allow us to shoot on wider apertures. When taking portraits my goal is to bring attention to the model and have a sense of depth within the background. F2 and shallow depth of field allow me to do that. However, in the daylight, the shutter speed is very fast on open apertures. You can see in this shot, the shutter speed was 350. But we know that in order to shoot with a speed light, we will need to bring down the shutter speed to about 200. And that will give us about one stop of overexposure. As we can see, this shot is overexposed. No details in the sky and everything looks a bit flat. To resolve this situation, I'm going to use a neutral density filter, or ND filter. These filters block the light and can be varied from 1 to 3 stops. These filters are intended to help slow down the exposure, which is exactly what we need to do here. As a result, I am able to shoot with wider apertures and use the shutter speed compatible with the flash. Here we have a beautiful backlighting created by the sun, and that accentuates the hair. And now, I think we're ready to introduce the speed lights. I'm using two different light sources here, the sun and the flash, positioning the model right in between the two. an example of an image we just took. The sunlight creates this beautiful golden hair highlight and the flash accentuates the face from the opposite direction. Here are some more photos. This, this one has been processed. The both lights have been working very effectively and I'm quite pleased with these tests. It is important to understand that the flash has recycling time, and sometimes it's even longer than a second. In this image, for example, the flash did not fire. What I would like to do next is to underexpose the scene. I'm going to keep the shutter speed the same, because faster speed will not work with my flash. I also would like to keep my f-stop open. Instead, to underexpose, I will use a greater neutral density factor. I also have to make sure to check focus. This image is an example of underexposure and our flash is still keeping a good highlight on the face. Here is an image where the flash did not go off, but it still looks really interesting. So let's reiterate. Here we have the sunlight and the flash is on the opposite side from the sun. As you can see in this image, both light sources are positioned at an angle to the subject, and we have a dramatic scene as a result. The sunlight is illuminating the back, and the flash lights the front. Here are some other images with interesting backlighting. <laughs> In this scenario, we will use two speed lights. The sun has set and now we don't have any direct natural light. We have underexposed the scene slightly to create a bit more drama. Both flashes are set at the same power and you can see this nice highlight on the face. And the second flash has a red filter on. And this image has been edited, but here it is before and after the edits. These are some more of the shots from the same setup. Now I would like to try increasing the power of one of the flashes, the one with red filter on, or flash B. And I can do that through the transmitter. Now the flashes are set up to 1 to 2 ratio, with the flash B one stop greater power. And here are some photos, again with the underexposed background. <laughs> Thank you. 
here we have Yev who has kindly agreed to make this video. The flash with the red filter looks like sunset and I'm going to edit this image quickly so you can see how we can turn this flash into a bit more natural look. And we're going to adjust the red channel a bit in Lightroom. The next steps for us is to take the flashes off the light stands completely and try some freeform lighting. I'm going to take a few shots hand holding the flashes and placing them in various locations around the model. We will use the ground as our background and underexpose the scene a bit, creating a dramatic look with the red accent. The kid is getting a bit wild by the end of the shoot and we may have to wrap up soon. This video is under 10 minutes long, but just so everybody understands, we were shooting for over an hour. I have some photos here of the lighting setup. As you can see, my flashes are on the ground and you can use these lighting scenarios and play quite a bit with your setups.